Hi there, welcome to this video where I've returned to Pennington Flashes. Now Pennington Flashes is a great place to visit, especially for a wildlife photographer, because it's set around this big lake here behind me and dotted all the way around are lots of hides that you can visit. Um, it's all free of charge, open to the public and it's just outside Wigan. Now we're just coming out of a very stormy period. In the last couple of weeks we've had three named storms and as a result all the rain has really raised the water level in the lake. The last time I was here, this spot here, there was a beach and now the water is right up to the edge of the shore, almost lapping into the car park. But hopefully today, there seems like there's a lot of wildlife about, so I should get some really good photographs and really enjoy my photography. Pennington Flashes is an impressive country park. The lake and surrounding marshlands are home to five RSPB red-listed birds and a protected water vole. Its importance for birds is recognised nationally, with over 230 species of birds being recorded here. The term flashes refers to the lakes just here, and they are a result of mining subsidence in the area. So come along with me today. I'm really looking forward to everything that I'm going to see. I know it's going to be a great morning. So I'm here in my first hide of the day. It's been an amazing half an hour because I managed to get into the hide just as the warden had fed the birds. So it was a complete frenzy. So over the last half an hour, I've seen lots and lots of different species. And there are lots of perches all the way around outside the hide that you can get some really natural shots. What's best is it's all free of charge. All of these hides are just sitting here on the edge of this um, lake and wetland area. All that I've paid today is £1.50 for the car park. So the lighting's a little bit tricky today. It's quite overcast, so I've had to lift the ISO to 800, and that's giving me a shutter speed of about 125th of a second. So it's okay if the birds are static and they're sitting still, but I'm not gonna get any shots with the birds in action with these kind of settings. Thank you. 
It's time to move on from this first hide. I've had a really good half an hour session here, but there are loads more hides to go and visit and see if I can see anything different. There's a possibility that I might even see some deer. If you're enjoying this video, you can do me a really big favor by clicking like, subscribe, and the bell notifications. That way you stay up to date with all of my future content and it really helps out the channel. Just sat in this hide here behind me. I have got some shots of a heron and a cormorant. I don't know how good they'll be because they were from quite a long distance away, but the cormorant was quite spectacular because it was in breeding plumage. And it's not often that you see that. What a great way to spend a morning. I quite often get people commenting on my enthusiasm, but it's really difficult not to be enthusiastic when you're in a place like this with so many photographic opportunities and just enjoying yourself out looking at the wildlife. So from inside this hide here, I've managed to see some cormorants, um, some oyster catchers and some swans. They are from quite a long distance away again, so they're not the most spectacular shots, but it's still just a pleasure being here. So that's been a great end to the morning in that final hide. I saw an egret, I saw the deer, and I did get a shot of the kingfisher. Now the kingfisher shot wasn't that spectacular because it was from quite a long distance away, but it was just a pleasure to see it in the first place.
Oh, I've had a really enjoyable morning here again at Pennington Flashes. It is getting very windy now, so I'm hoping that the tripod stays standing. My fingers are starting to get cold and my belly's rumbling because it's getting very close to lunchtime, so I'll be heading off soon. But if you live in the Wigan area or very close, then it's really worth coming and paying this place a visit because there's lots of hides that give you really good vantage points of lots of different kinds of birds. So it's really worth paying the visit. It's free of charge and all you'll pay is £1.50 for the car park. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram account, that's at Daylton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my pictures. Now, if you like what I do on the channel, you can support me by visiting my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, but you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because that really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Now, what Watch out for next week's video, that goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, you can check out this video just up here. All that's left now though is to say, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.